Okay, we have here today another integral from the UNSW Integration B 2020. This one here was problem number six. We have the integral of e to the 2x over the square root of 1 minus e to the 4x dx. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing here is just the similarity with the uh, e to the 2x, e to the 4x. It's making me think a u substitution could work. And what I'm going to do is, I think to start what I'll do is rewrite this just to kind of show what's going on. So... Now this e to the 4x, what I can do is rewrite this as e to the 2x squared, just noticing the similarity between what we have in the numerator. But doing it this way, if I make my u substitution for e to the 2x, if this is our u value and we differentiate, we know we're gonna get an e to the 2x. So this should work out pretty nice. So I'll go ahead with that. I'm gonna try my u as e to the 2x. Then we'll take our derivative. So then for our du value, we're gonna have e to the 2x, but we're gonna have a two in front dx. And then just to make this work, what I can do is if I multiply by a 2 up front here, then our whole denominator becomes the du. So we're in really good shape, but I don't want to change it. So I'm going to multiply by 1 half in front. So then we'll just go ahead with this. I've got the 1 half in front. Again, we have du in the numerator. And then this denominator is going to become 1 minus u squared under the radical. But then this is really common integral here. This is just going to be arc sine. So we're going to have for our solution in u, we're gonna have just arc sine of u, and we'll just back substitute it in order to finish it off. So for my final solution, we just have one half arc sine of e to the two x plus c, and that's it. Okay, really quick problem from UNSW. We'll keep doing some more of these. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.